Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hand Spinner Review Spot YouTube channel. You can click on the link in the description below to head to our Facebook page. And if you like what we do in general, please give us a like and a subscription here and hit the subscription bell as well just to get the latest from us. There's lots and lots of videos coming. So, what do we have here today? We have a bit of an unsung hero of the hand spinner world, in my opinion, and you can go back on the Facebook page and have a look at the written review of this from quite some time ago, and you'll see that um, I, I loved this when I first got it, and I still do now. It's not without its flaws, and we'll get to those, but this is the Pentaspin Spur from Pentaspin. It's a UK brand, which is nice. It was certainly very nice when we discovered that they were UK, and we could get them relatively quickly. Um, it's some time ago now, and yeah, it's lovely. This one's in brass, um, with a stainless steel button, but we'll get further into the details after we do a few size comparisons. So there we have it. We'll stick a Vorso flat top next to it, and a Commodore Garden stubby, and a Trillium, and what an embarrassment of rich, riches I have over here. There we go. I feel guilty. There we go. There's a an original torque bar. Yeah, I think that. There we go. I'm just showing off now, aren't I, really? Someone give me a slap. There we are. We've got it next to a compass as well. So, as you can see, it's quite a compact little design. And what's interesting about this guy, because I haven't had many... Uh, you'll see more reviews of um, 608 spinners on the YouTube... Not on the YouTube channel, on the Facebook page than you will on the channel because not many people are using 608s now and I've said previously in reviews that I think that's a little bit of a shame because they do bring something different to the table as compared to the R188s that we're all now getting very familiar with. So yeah, here we have a brass body. You can see it has this sort of star pattern. Um, obviously there's a sort of western theme to the different models they do. Ah, and that brings us on to one other thing actually. This is it here next to another model that they offer. This is the Deputy this one's in bronze, actually, um, which is also very pretty. I'll do a full review on that another time. Or maybe just an update, because it's a very, very similar design to this one. So if you have larger hands, maybe that one's maybe that one's for you. If you have smaller hands, maybe this one's for you. So, yeah, it's a brass body with stainless steel buttons. The design as a whole, as I say, is this sort of star pattern with this kind of western sheriffy kind of feel. I'm not sure if that's what they were originally going for, but it definitely works. There's kind of a dished out quality to it, which is really nice. So hopefully you can see that. It dishes in from these outer arms, which are all negatively tapered, have quite a lot of negative space inside them, that runs down into this dish and then up slightly to the button. If I take the button itself off, we'll come back to the buttons in a, section, in a second, actually. Pull those to one side. There you see, we have a hybrid ceramic 608. This is a 2RS Pro hybrid ceramic, I think I'm right in saying, which has, since I discovered them because of this, been uh, my absolute favorite budget conscious um, 608 bearing. So there you go, you can see it's all nicely fitted, everything's nice and tight and evenly done, and you can see a bit more of this overall shape. This is effectively one single dish that's machined that looks beautiful, that's all curved upwards and downwards and then these sections are removed from it to give you sort of the finger retention marks so let's put that button back on the button itself like I say is a stainless steel one on this but you can get them in all manner of different finishes when you buy these this is a really nice button design and it's probably still yeah it might it might well very well be as simple as it looks my favorite 608 button design you have a flat portion and then you have a little concave dish in the center it just works. When you hold it, it feels very comfortable. There's nothing unpleasant about that. And that brings us to the thing that I like absolute most. It's just such a great thing about the Pentaspin, any of the Pentaspins, but particularly the Spur, is that it is one of the finest, you know, mindless without considering it fidget spinners on the market. Sure, the Axis Micro is great, but if anything, this might be an even better fidget spinner in terms of the just general catch and release where you can use it. You can use it with anything you like it just it's so easy to fidget with and if that's your thing I'd really consider one of these it's the number one thing that we have to say here because getting onto the negatives it has a tiny bit of wobble on one finger it's quite a small design around a big bearing that's probably got something to do with it but also might not be the most even fit in the world but with a, with a spinner like this that's designed for feedback and all the rest of it I can't really ding it too hard for that these are also very competitively priced as well so yeah it just works from that point of view the biggest downside to these and I found it with all the pentaspin models I've tried so far is that there's just too many hot spots on them it's something that I'd really like to see changed 
if the bodies were just sandblasted or tumbled, I think that would probably do the trick. I don't think there's any real need to put a chamfer on these or anything else. But in this machine finish, I just find that they kind of dig in a little bit on a forward flick more than you'd like. Um, reverse flicks are no problem at all because you're over this little ridge here but that does kind of take the sheen a little bit off of the brand but it would well it hasn't stopped me as you can see and it's never really stopped me from using it so it's probably maybe a smidge of a nitpick or just the fact that I'm a bit of a wuss one of the two yeah probably one of the two anyway yeah so it's just it's just a really really nice spinner if you want a great fidget spinner if you like 608 bearings or you just want something with a 608 in your collection and maybe you don't want an Axis Micro or, I, I would jump at buying a pen to spin. Um, you can get hold of pen to spin via the pen to spin uh, Facebook page. David White runs the company. Um, he's a really nice guy to deal with. He's normally relatively quick at getting back in touch with you. And I'm sure there will be these available in general. Drop them drop a line. He'll be able to tell you the production schedule and all the rest of it. And certainly, if you are new to the hand spinner world and maybe you've got loads of 608, rather, loads of R188 bearings, maybe you kind of skipped a stage where 608s were more ubiquitous in the world, this is a great option. On top of that, you could press the bearing out and put in a core. Who knows? There's another thought. There you are, guys. The pen to spin spur. One of my favourite pure fidget fidget spinners. Thank you very much. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.